In this big tractor power video, we're going to spend some time out in a cornfield located on the eastern side of central Wisconsin with a pretty cool lineup of Agco farm machinery. We're going to see a Massey Ferguson combine harvesting corn and unloading on the go with a white farm equipment 4270 four-wheel drive tractor pulling a Kinsey grain cart. And we'll also have a big focus on a Challenger MT955B four-wheel drive tractor working with a Sunflower disc chisel disc in the same field. It's always cool to see a variety of machinery come together as the harvest moves along to put the grain in the bin and also prepare the field for planting the following spring. So let's head out to the field and see all this big Agco farm machinery in action. This Wisconsin farm has an impressive lineup of Agco farm equipment that includes a mix of big modern machines and harder to find classics. On the modern side, the farm is using a Massey Ferguson 9560 combine to harvest its corn. This machine was manufactured by Agco in Heston, Kansas from 2012 through 2014. It has an optional American flag wrap that was available from Agco during that production time period. And for the Canadian market, the 9560 could be ordered with the Canadian maple leaf wrap as well. This machine is powered by an Agco Power 98 ATI seven cylinder engine rated at 460 horsepower. That makes it a class eight combine with a 350 bushel grain tank that can unload at four bushels per second from a 24 foot and a half unloading auger. On the classic side of this harvest operation is the farm's grain cart tractor, pulling and powering a Kinsey 1040 cart capable of holding a thousand bushels of corn. This machine is a white farm equipment 4270 four-wheel drive tractor. It's powered by a Caterpillar 3306 six-cylinder 638 cubic inch engine rated at 270 horsepower. The tractor weighs in at 29,060 pounds and it was manufactured in Charles City, Iowa from 1983 through 1988. Even though it had a five-year production time period, white farm equipment had a lot of financial problems just like other farm equipment makers in the early 1980s because of the down farm economy. As a result, for a two-year time period, white farm equipment did not manufacture any tractors in Charles City, Iowa, and there weren't many 4270s produced even during the three years tractor production was available. So it's a pretty rare tractor to see and exciting to see on this Wisconsin farm. Now that we've seen the harvest side of the operation, let's head to the other side of the field to see the tillage action with the Challenger MT955B four-wheel drive tractor and the Sunflower disc chisel disc. Tillage is an important part of this farming operation and you might have noticed that there was a little bit of snow in the air and on the ground during the harvesting segment of this video. And when you're working in Wisconsin in the fall, snow is always just around the corner. And you want to stay ahead of it, getting your crop out of the field, but it's also important to get your tillage done in the fall as well. You want to work up the ground, break up the compaction, and bury the residue before the snow really starts to fly. Because then over the winter, the snow and the freezing and thawing help mellow out the field and get it ready to have a nice seed bed in the spring. There are two reasons a farm likes to have tillage in its operation. Number one is to break up compaction. There's a lot of heavy machinery in this field throughout the year, whether it's spring tillage passes, planting, spraying, harvesting, and especially that big grain cart with that thousand bushels of corn rolling back and forth compress the soil. And that reduces the amount of water and air that can reach the roots on next year's crop. So you have that factor. And then also today's modern corn stalks are very tough. They're disease resistant, they're wind resistant in most cases, and repel insects. 
But as a result of that strong stalk, when it's harvested and laying out in the field, it doesn't break down very fast. So having a big tillage implement come along and mix it in with the soil helps it decay. You might have also noticed that the farm's Massey Ferguson 9560 combine was running an eight-row Drago chopping corn head, and that corn head has blades, kind of like on your lawnmower, whirring around under it, chopping up the residue to help out the tillage process. Heading up the farm's tillage efforts is a Challenger MT955B articulated four-wheel drive tractor manufactured by Agco at its Jackson, Minnesota factory. It's powered by a Caterpillar C15 923 cubic inch engine rated at 460 horsepower. This tractor is part of the first generation of articulated Challenger tractors offered by Agco from 2007 through 2009 that range from 430 up to 570 horsepower. This tractor weighs in at 39,266 pounds. Pulled by the big Challenger tractor is another Agco product and that is a Sunflower Disc Chisel Disc. That's quite a mouthful to say, but the name describes exactly what the machine does. The Sunflower 4511 and 4530 primary tillage tool is built around proven designs of two different tillage implements. The first is the tandem disc harrow. It has overlapping front and staggered rear disc gangs that help size the residue and level out the field. In the middle is a proven chisel plow design that digs down in the ground 12 inches deep breaking up compaction, working up the roots, and then those disc blades size the stalks and smooth out the field, leaving a great seed bed for the spring. The Sunflower Disc Chisel Disc comes in a variety of sizes, ranging from 11 feet 3 inches all the way up to 23 feet 9 inches. The 4511s offer 9, 11, 13, and 15 shanks, and then the big 4530 offers 19 shanks. Agco recommends about 25 to 30 horsepower per shank, so the big Challenger MT955B rated at 460 horsepower would be best suited probably for the model 4511 with 15 shanks. That would take about 375 to 400 horsepower, and then the 4530 with its 19 shanks would take about 475 horsepower. So this big Challenger can do a lot of work with a disc chisel disc getting that field ready for next spring. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field during fall harvest and tillage on this Wisconsin farm and seeing all of these big Agco farm machines at work. If you'd like to see more videos like this one, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube where there are over 1,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you have any questions or thoughts about the video, please leave them in the comment section below as I try to respond to every post that is made. If you'd like to get a preview of what is coming up on Big Tractor Power YouTube next, make sure to check out Big Tractor Power Instagram where I share pictures and short video clips of what is currently being filmed in the field. As always, thank you for watching.